Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I just uh, uh, risked my life to go out and feed the birds <laughs> on our deck, but since we lost our cats a couple of weeks ago, they're like my only pets now. So I've got to take care. Yeah, Bye. you know, it's these companies pretty much let their their customers or clients debug their work is what it comes down to. So the people who are on the bleeding edge get to do all the hard lifting till the software is straightened out. Mm -hmm. I haven't yet switched to the newest Mac OS either. And I know a lot of people who've already done that. So, mm. um, and you've got, you, you also want to make sure all the, all the software you have on your computer is going to be <clears throat> uh, compatible with the newest operating system. Uh, I know last time Chuck was on, we talked about, you know, Photoshop and Adobe because um, if he upgrades, he's, it's, he's going to lose his version of uh, Photoshop. It will no longer be supported. Um, so it's either forcing him to buy a newer model or stay on an old uh, operating system that they're not going to update stuff as regularly. So, so if there's programs you have that you're concerned about, well, we can do some research on the internet and on, is it compatible? Hmm. I hate the day. Oops. Well, go ahead. And then I was just sending you a picture that I took this morning when I opened the computer. That is, uh, I'm wondering if that's what you're talking about, this Microsoft 11. It says it wants to continue setting up my computer. <laughs> Hmm. Didn't go through, I guess. Oh, yeah, to go through. That is. Hmm. Click on it and it's not letting me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's there. We go. Um, this looks different. Mm -hmm. then but we can see if this is what um betty ann saw um so i've seen that yeah needs a few more microsoft services yeah i think it just wants you to add more information to microsoft which you don't need to do okay so that's not if i clicked on that it's not going to hook me up to the Microsoft 11 by, you know, because it's tricking me. <laughs> it's not... not on this page, but okay. maybe if you go all through all five of these, the, uh -huh. the last one might be, let's update to 11. Oh, there's five pages. Yeah, I didn't click on it, but thank you for that answer. Cause so, I, yeah. I, had, I don't want anything newer. And um, I know we have to talk tech things, but I was just thinking back <clears throat> before like all the levels of Microsoft I don't know but there was one that I can't that I liked the best and it was maybe 10 years ago we had it at work Microsoft Access or Word something and it was great <laughs> but now it's you know obsolete you can't use it but I don't uh, is uh, I was wondering if there's a uh, some list of all the incarnations of it of all the different levels as they keep changing it on us yep there are if the uh wikipedia has a list oh of okay like, i'll go uh, there um all the pc uh microsoft uh yeah. operating systems and then all the macs as well oh, i'll have to look up and that. the years that they um were you know in service and supported right uh, right I'll look for that. Thank you. It yeah. kind of reminds me of uh, when I worked at the mainline chamber, uh, you know how banks, you know, the original banks, 
who knows what they are, you know, because they've all been bought and bought and bought. But my boss had been in banking. So when people would call with, you know, something 25 years ago that had, um, you know, they had stock or this came up when they found something in their grandmother's drawer, he had a mind that could tell you the genealogy of the banks, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. Well, oh, that bank, now that's this. And, you know, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, PSFS, now it's something else. So I'll stop talking. <laughs> I, when I just came on, I saw that screen that was up there and that comes up for me every once in a while. And Craig told me to just ignore it. In other words, if you shut it, shut, take it off, because because they do want you to do a lot of stuff that you might not want to do. At least at least he said he doesn't ever do anything Microsoft wants. Or, um, so I just and it doesn't come up every time I come on. But like if I shut my thing down, my computer down completely, sometimes it comes up and it's been doing that for over a year and I've just ignored it. So I don't know if that if you want to do that or not. But that was that's the same. Thing. Same here. Mm -hmm. No, I'll ignore it because Lynn said to. <laughs> yeah, if you if you read in the details, uh -huh. these different things that you could add that you they say would, you know, help you out. Right. Like this uh -huh. would give you more uh, access, different ways of unlocking in case you wanted to use a pin instead of a password or, uh, or okay. like, steps in case like you forget your password there's an alternative mm -hmm. uh this would be linking your phone with your pc so um you get text and things on your computer uh -huh. uh, and then this is um all the microsoft um recommendations on browser information uh -huh. i wouldn't buy <laughs> but i don't want their suggestions they're just yeah. ads um and then uh, it wants you to hook up a, or buy a Microsoft 365 uh, subscription yeah. and then uh, keep more things in the OneDrive, which is, of course, going to cost you more money. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I would always get this remind me in three days or if there's a way to like do a like uh, later or for, yeah. forget or something. Yeah. I don't know yeah. other options over there, but yes. So I don't want to click any further than that. <laughs> you can click, re, rem, I do the remind me in three days, but it's it's much longer than three days before. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> yes, Connie. I have two questions. One is I, I get that because I downloaded Google Drive to get the Christmas concert stuff to listen to the things. And now mm -hmm. Google wants to, to download all of my files to Google Drive. And I don't want them to. So it keeps popping up with a little thing saying, you know, download all your documents. And I just keep hitting cancel. But is there any way to get it to stop doing that other than to delete Google Drive? <laughs> um, you deleted the 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 program on the computer? No, I just I just hit cancel when it says I want to know how to get rid of the little thing that wants me to do it all the time when I say no, thank you. I'm happy to keep it there for Tim, but that's about the only thing I would use it for. I don't need my files in Google. Um, well, Bad enough if you, I'm guessing those notifications um, mm -hmm. for you are on the uh, system preferences. Mm -hmm. And then if you, if I can move this, go away hit uh, notifications and I'm guessing that's on there's a drive or a chrome okay thing and then you just not so there's one drive is that what you're talking about no oh sorry. No. it's google drive and and it's it I mean I, I don't want it off the computer I just don't want to have to use it for all my files I want to be able to get to the music files when I have to get to the music files well, I don't understand. Is it like, did you download the application in here? Because I don't have a downloaded so, uh, software on mine. Well, I'd have to dig that out. I'll dig that out and look it up. Because you could me. delete Next that and view everything online. Yeah, I'll, I'll dig it up. Well, yeah. Um, the other question is, why is the Christmas concert so hidden on the Westminster website? What do you mean? You can't go to 
to a live stream or anything like you can go and see Sunday's services and get the Christmas concert. You have to, Marianne Starkey had a terrible time getting to it yesterday because we streamed the thing at Maris Grove. And she said, you have to hold down this button to go to Wednesday's chapel for a while and then it turns blue and, and then you can scroll down and get somewhere else. But I've given up. I said, you know, it takes two seconds on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the same way it is for every other archived thing. It's right. But it does, well, interesting. It doesn't show up on, on our phones that way. I had that issue the last time. I couldn't find it and couldn't find it. And I kept emailing back and forth with Bev and saying, where, where is this? And she... She's there like, go to this page. And I'm there like, I'm on that page, but nothing is showing. Exactly. I mean, and what she finally had me do till, till we finally figured it out. Our website, unfortunately, is not designed to handle this. And this is why we're looking into redesigning the website. <laughs> oh, boy, more changes. <laughs> yeah, all I get, all I get when I go to the live stream is, um, December 18th is upcoming and then click here for Wednesday morning and that's it. And then it's all is, literally the old sermons. Is that on your phone or on, on your my phone? phone. That, yeah. your, you phone know, your phone if you can't take it. Oh, that's if you I subscribe can't. to Westminster on YouTube, you've got That's why I say, I know it's in one I, place. Well, Marianne didn't know whether she had it YouTube or not. I said, I'll teach, I'll show you how to get to it because it's 10 times faster than doing what we did yesterday. Anyway. Yep, I always send people the direct link because the the live stream page is not very user friendly. Mm. And there's nothing I can do to fix it until there's a redesign of the website because Could you send not, me that link? Can you send the direct link then, please? Yes, I'll I'll take <laughs> I, that too. It, it will be at I the haven't bottom. found the Christmas service either that, that that I was asked you about last week, but I haven't found it yet either to look at it. It's it will be in the weekly email at the bottom of the thing. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I only had one glitch. It, you it mean your tech time the email? The the church email that comes out today. Yeah. But when how I long I don't get that the concert be available? Uh through the U New Year. Okay, good. Because um I had planned to live stream it and uh then I'm really fanatical, fanatical about keeping things on my calendars. And for some reason, I didn't have that. We had a play that day and we didn't get home until um, like the last 20 minutes or so. So I saw that, but I said, well, I can go back. Now I'm a little worried. It won't be that easy, but I'm sure you'll help us. Go to but if you try to do things on your phone, you can tell you can easily scroll past it because of the mobile responsive. This section right here, you're going to have to scroll down. And how do you get to it scrolling? See, I was just going to say that. I don't have anything there that gives me an option to scroll. If you hold your finger on like where it says December 18th. So it okay. turns blue, then you can scroll. Okay. Oh, now, I mean, okay. it's That's hidden. Right. It's because you can tell it's not designed for mobile response. Okay, it turned okay. blue. Now what am I doing? Now you can scroll. scroll. But I, I ah, would. I know. I didn't know that either till today or yesterday. It's because I, the. Because I couldn't find that. Because remember, I asked you last week if it was going to be posted, and you said it was, but then I couldn't ever find it. So I thought, no, it just didn't get posted. But okay, now I know how to find it. Lynn, but is there I suggest always, yeah, trying multiple options if you can find it. If you have a smart TV and have a roku or chrome stick or an apple tv to download the boxcast app on it because then you don't have to deal with any of this you can just watch it on the tv rather than hunting for it on the computer i gave you my apple tv you did my thank son, you my son was not so thrilled when he found that out <laughs> would he like it back well that only if you don't need it when you when you don't need it anymore <laughs> Actually, I will I always remember. use it if I have it, but I'm happy to give it back to him. Lynn, well, is there any way to add to that? Um, so I don't know how, but maybe it's a separate file or something. The program, not the whole program, but the list of the songs, because I've had so many people say, oh, I love that song, but I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> um, you know, because it, there's there was no bulletin or anything with the 
live stream. And I, I have it, about a hundred of them here if you'd like one. <laughs> well, I well, and that's another thing. I did pick up some when I was at church yesterday. However, I left my my book bag there. I hope because I have don't have it at home. But there are plenty of. I don't have much to say today. <laughs> we fixed all my... your tech issues. What? Didn't you have a bunch of tech issues last week? I did, but I can't about? remember what they are. Once I email them to you, they're out of my head. Uh, which is <laughs> very, oh, them. Betty, stop it. Um, I just had my in-house tech support. Look, I do have one question. I, I, you know, maybe do it at the end or something. I think I'm the only Mac person or Apple person. And when I was doing Photoshop, oh, you are Connie, good. When I was, um, I'm trying to do stuff for the prayer shawl ministry and I've done it for like, you know, a couple of years and everything's been fine. And yesterday afternoon, I, I did what I always do um, and was trying to edit my pictures. And when I did the text block, I typed in the name of the prayer shawl. In this case, it's candy apple red and everything is upside down. The entire text is upside down. And I even Googled it yesterday um, and they said to save in safe mode and reboot and try again. I did shut everything down and reboot, but has anyone else had that problem of editing in photo? It's Apple photo. Um, does that sound? Do you want to screen share and show us what sure. it looks like? And we Let can see if I try have, to sure. resolve. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now can I? I don't know how to. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now it's right, but if I I'd go, this is how I do it always. I go to markup. Here's my picture. Now, do you see I've lost the crop, and you can see who the model is, and the models prefer that they not be identified. Um, so that's a problem. I had cropped them previously. Now they're not. And then I put a text block in. Now watch, it's going to be perfect now because you guys are. <laughs> um, and I'm going to say, whoop. Yep, there goes the text there block. It goes. And I'm going candy, apple, red. <laughs> and then I hit enter. And it's like that. Now, if I hit save changes, I think it flips. No, this time it didn't. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it did. So what's with that? I guess it's not the end of the world. I can just type carefully and read upside down and then. And it also cropped the head off of the photo. Oh, yes, it did. When I save changes, you're right. Okay. Huh. So is that That's just one of those funny things? No, uh, it shouldn't be that. Can you go <laughs> back to like markup? I'm curious now. Okay. And I got into the tail end of that concert. Yes, the choir was spectacular. It was just spectacular. Can you go in and edit Candy Apple Red now? Or is that like okay, no longer yes. editable? Yeah, I think I can delete that. Yeah, I can delete. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And then I need to put the size of the prayer shawl in. So I would say <laughs> oh, huh. that's bizarre. <laughs> Is there a well, like? I thought it was me. I was like, okay, I've been having too much holiday cheer. This is just not right. <laughs> and if then, you click so, on it, does it like have little arrows that you can like drag? There. What there. the heck? Isn't that funny? <laughs> See, it's not the end of the world. It's just really at my point in the game, it's kind of difficult. I, I I've got like 20 of them to do. I have a question. Did the original, was the original picture taken with your camera in a different position so that you had to turn the thing around to make it upright? Was the original picture upside down? I think down? so. Now that's a good question. I do not know. Because I, as a lefty, ha most all my photos are upside down when I am. Yeah, me too. That's why I, that's why I asked the question. Yeah. Really? That, that maybe the photos, maybe I took them upside down. Mm. It, uh, yeah, maybe that's possible. Although I, I mean, if it shows on my phone, straight up and well, down. Not if you already corrected it, it wouldn't show. But you know what? You can just take a picture of anything up and see whether it's upside down and 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 try and text. Oh, okay. It. Oh, okay. I'll try that. Photo, yeah. A little bit later. Okay. Well, <laughs> I also know most of those photos are live photos, 
So I wonder if that's something to do with it too. Okay. I thought I'd, okay. Usually it says you can't edit with live on. You have to flick it off, which I always do. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I did, I'm trying to think of my other questions. I did have that Facebook question. I haven't done anything about that. I got hacked apparently like everybody else. Was it hacked or did someone forge your identity? Oh, I don't know. So a lot of people say the word hack, but they don't realize what that means. I um, don't either. So um, do you want to pull up your Facebook if you don't mind us stalking on you? I don't know that I <laughs> know how to do that from here. I usually just click on whatever email. Okay shows up you know if it says okay i can't get rid of that uh, okay um i guess i need to get to my i guess yeah the question is how how did you find out you were hacked uh because people kept saying i'm assuming you didn't send me a friend request because we're friends already Yes, that makes me think that it is a um, fake account. Somebody's forging your identity. Great. <laughs> I noticed something about that. Um, you know how you will get emails and, um, you know, it'll tell you it's reminding you it's somebody's birthday and whatever. Well, I look at right. Facebook every day because my sister and her husband post a lot. And it's yes, there. Right. My great nieces and great nephews and all of that. And and it and I got suspicious of these when it said we haven't seen you at Facebook for for a while, so you need to get caught up. You know, click here. Oh. And I said, yeah, no, I'm very <laughs> good about looking at that every day. So um, and the times that I did click on that, that was when it told me that, um, or, or people told me that, hey, I already had a friend request from you, so why is this coming? And I had to change my id and all of that so that's what i do if it tells me i should look at it i just delete that email okay and then i go right to facebook and everything's fine okay there's the problems that i don't remember my facebook password but okay i will do that there's a scam associated with these accounts where you will get a message from somebody that you know and right. it will say do you know about this twenty thousand dollar grant that you can sign up for and yeah. then they'll try to uh, get more of your information to get you on board this grant that they supposedly have been able to get and I there's see nothing at all suspicious people. about that is there no, no. <laughs> no. But it, I hope I'm still teaching able reaching to, out to give you it, money no 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 it's yeah. so ridiculous because it's out there so much yeah well it's like the stuff for Don you know it's always remember it's when exactly what that through. is Carol, if what? somebody if somebody created a second account saying they were Carol Edwards with your birthday, because yeah. all that information mm -hmm. is public mm -hmm. knowledge on the internet, right? So it's easy to create fake profiles. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's the same thing as the Don Lincoln spoofing emails. They're okay. going to friend all of your friends so that hopefully they can, you know, manipulate and get money from them in various ways. So how do I delete that account? You can report it if your okay. friends sent the URL of that um, Facebook. Um, you can go in and say um, report, uh, you know, s pretending to be someone else or something. Let me see if I can pull it up. The friend request thing. That's what they. That's what I need to get from them. Um, so let's see if I can find a fake Carol Edwards. Okay. Because I think we're friends. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Facebook very often, so I don't have that many friends. Okay. Uh, Aww. Well, you're not, Aww. You have plenty you have of friends. They're just I'm your you friend. guys are my friends. Carol, I'm your friend. Thank you. Yes, you are. For sure. I'll see if I could get in Facebook. Okay. I only go to Facebook when I get a text saying that so and so is posted. Exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. So I don't usually so use the app. I'm guessing this person is pretending to be you because they live in Westchester and they're friends with Kathy Smedley, but that is clearly not you. 
Well, unless oh. it's a uh, oh, but I Kate that Lewis. might be a Carol <laughs> Edwards from Paoli Church because we had a Carol Lewis. Okay. At our church, although I can't see that picture from here. Yeah, it makes um, sense because Kathy is, wow. knows people up that. So yeah, anyway, she, does, she knows me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. But um, a lot of Carol Edwards on there. Are all yeah, these they, Carol Edwards? These are all oh, Carol Edwards. Um, but anyway, so I don't want to do this. I'll do yeah, this. That's okay. This is this is a typical what it looks like when it's a fake, fake. Um, account. Okay. And, and then, then what, you can what say do? find support oh. report. Okay. And how did you get that menu down? So if you click this three, these that three one. Dots, okay. Because mm -hmm. usually it's a it's a generic photo or no photo and maybe one or two friends. Okay. Find and support a request. And you can say pretending to be someone. And it's pretending to be me. Okay. Got right? it. Right. And then you can walk through the process. I'm sure there'll be other okay. prompts. All right. Thank you. Oh, but if your good. friends like have that particular one and they can report it themselves too you know if we looked at if you saw that um when we were looking at do i like claudia it? was the one i that could say it this, wasn't me yeah um you, i could say it's a friend right and i can type in you know okay someone's name and it's you know that friend is being reported got it so okay. Thank either you. your friends could do it or you could do it Okay. But if more people do it, the probably faster it would be taken down. All right. Now I'm going to go into mail and see if I can find my other questions. Are we still screen sharing? Nope, we're not. Okay. Uh, okay. The, I not found my mail so exciting. But buddy, um, your email was about getting MP3 albums on Amazon. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and what's MP3? <laughs> <It's right there. laughs> Um, I live on Apple or not. What is it? Audible books. I've got one in my ears all the time. I read and wash the dishes. I read and garden. I read and drive. I read. And, so it's, mm -hmm. it's really, and it, they're expensive if you buy them, but so I'm hoping to be able to get them a different way. Do you use eBooks from the library? Uh, I have years ago. I haven't recently. I'm on, and those are audibles also, Bob? Yes, I'm yes. on three different libraries. The system's called Libby that I use. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm on Free Library of Philadelphia, local county library, and another one, Chautauqua. And inevitably, I can get the book from one or the other. Okay. Free. So you have to go to search yes. around. Go to Libby. Correct. Go to yeah. Libby. <laughs> L I B B Y. Okay. And then drop down what library you want to sign into. Oh, but you, and you don't to, have to be a member. Yes, you have to join. Have a library card for that library. Okay. Uh, which is free. But it doesn't always right. cost money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, never costs money. But I, I thought the free library they want a donation, which is fine. I'll give them one. Like that's what someone told me in another tech class. Um, but anywho, <laughs> yeah, I've never, I've donated because they're providing books. One yeah. of the libraries, interestingly, when I get a book for like three weeks, and it says you just saved thirty eight dollars and fifty cents if you had to purchase this book. Yeah, inter interesting. Reminded me. Well, you know, I got this free. I would have had to pay that much to buy it. So do you have a live library card? Carol? For Chester County. Okay. Yeah, that's all. So go to Libby. Okay. Um, and then pull down Chester County, put in your library card, and you're in. Okay. Okay. And then you can just browse through and they'll tell you that it's available ebook or or it's or available in 12 weeks. Um and the nice thing about having a couple libraries is you have several different options. All right. Actually, I was trying to, the thing that triggered my question, um, because I had just, I buy a prescription to Audible. So um, I just, you know, pay so much per year and I get, I don't know, 15 downloads or 20 
books um, for that fee. Um, but I was trying to download Ashley Fisher's family's Christmas album, which was just beautiful. Some of you might have heard it. Um, it's her cousins and aunt and uncle and stuff singing Christmas songs, quartet, quintet. Um, and I had, he provided the link, but I didn't want to go into Facebook. So I tried it to find it directly from Amazon, which I did. Um, my son ended up helping me and getting it downloaded, but I don't know that I could do it again. So I guess, is there a, an easy way to go into those sites like Apple Music and then download? Mm -hmm. So how did she share her family CD? She just sent a link to people. Mm. Um, I think it was on Facebook. It was her Facebook page. And okay. she said, some of you, and I hope it was her, some of you might be interested in, you know, this, yeah. my cousin, this is my cousin, Micah and his musical group. And I clicked on it and went, oh my gosh, these people are beyond talented. So mm -hmm. I clicked on it. And then I thought, I want to buy the whole album. And then I went from there mm. and then really struggled to find it. Did anyone else happen to see her? post or no, click on that we, yeah Bob we don't were you able to do it without trouble <laughs> well uh we got it through the link that you sent out to the bell choir or somebody okay wow and no trouble pulling it up it was but it was by you and I trusted you as a link oh boy <laughs> well, but, your... but you didn't try to buy it right you just listened uh, to the no no promo. just listened yeah okay no. yeah Carol, no, that I didn't have trouble with, but when I went, I thought, oh, I'd like to load this onto my phone and have it in the car during Christmas time. Um, it is beautiful. It is it wonderful. Is. It's just, yeah, it's Can amazing. you send a link to the rest of us? Sure. I'm trying to find it. I figured it. you had it because you were, I figured you guys were friends with Ashley Fisher. Well, we are, but she has not that friendly, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was on her. It was. <laughs> It I've was on her face seven page. years, not for 50. Yeah, I'm trying okay. to, I'm stalking her on Facebook at the moment. Ooh, trying to okay. well, Now, Ashley is one because she has new babies that are little or, you know, younger people. And she was one that would post and post and post and post. And they are precious, but I didn't need to see weekly changes. So I would go like every so often I would click on her page. And this time I did. And, you know, I thought, oh, this is a great post and I knew Micah and I knew David and I knew Nancy and so and Molly so I trusted that whole thing mm. so then I bought the album but that was when I got into trouble trying to buy the album um so it looks like the link that I found is a Spotify playlist so if you have a Spotify account, you can listen to it. Um, oh. I mean, Spotify, okay. you can listen to music for free with right. ads. Or if you pay a tier, there's an ad-free version. I think I just um, deleted my Spotify. I got annoyed with it. But I don't know if you can, say, buy it somewhere else. Um this is the album, if anyone's looking and said they wanted it. I am it. looking it's, at it. Come it's in come in from the young, cold. That would be a reason why we couldn't find it. <laughs> come in from the cold and by Micah Young. There's a lot of come in from the colds. I had no idea. Right. And there's a lot of Micah Youngs or quite a few anyway. So <laughs> you have to. And it apparently it was from 2014. I didn't realize it was that old. Mm -hmm. but, and you can it buy was, one song for 99 cents or. Thought, yeah. Okay, and here's the. Here it is on Apple Music if you wanted to buy the whole album and put it on your phone. Okay. Um, you could do that. Or you could just buy, you know, I only like the bleak midwinter or whatever. Right. Yeah. Um, that was beautiful. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, good. Thank Did you. we answer your question? Yes, I think so. At least I'm I'm feeling more comfortable just looking at those screens, you know. Sometimes when you first click on them, you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many menus and choices. Um, so I have to go to Facebook and find me and delete my alter ego. And then, <laughs> okay, that's my I priority. I didn't see an day. obvious fake, except for the one we possibly looked at. Okay. Miss um, Renee, I know you asked what an MP3 is. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. 
you don't have to well, answer that. I know that's really archaic. <laughs> no, those, no, those are great questions because people <laughs> assume that everybody knows, but we most don't. people don't actually know what it means. Um, it's um, media. Uh, it's a media file for, um, that is audio only. So, um, so yeah, media player three, I think is what okay. it was originally. Um, but, uh, the, the, that was like the one that came out, Bill, do you know when they started releasing those 20 years ago, 30, um, and they have new, they have newer audio versions mm-hmm. now. Um, and so, MO- so much in, in audio, it, it's, it just goes from one technology to another as things advance faster, smaller, you know, the whole bit is probably back in the um, 1990s, some, some point mid or late. Is that like an iPod? Remember the thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. The 99 cent MP3 files. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I remember those. Yep. So, so Carol wanted to download music songs, which are MP3s that okay. you put on an iPod. So, um, yeah. yeah. Um, is iTunes still tied to, is that separate anymore or no? It's separate. Like I, from Amazon or I, I just went with Apple music because I thought I need some sort of music on my iTunes devices. has morphed into Apple music. Okay. Um, because it used to be in iTunes, you could buy music, uh, movies and TV shows. Oh. And now they've kind of separated it. So Apple TV is where you get the movies and TV shows and then music you can either buy the mp3s or you can do a subscription and they're mm-hmm. pushing the subscription now because that's going to cost more money sure. they're kind of hidden hidden the fact that you can still purchase the mp3 files um so there's that youtube now does the same thing because they wanted to compete against itunes mm-hmm. uh and amazon does it as well um and then you've got streaming platforms like Pandora and Spotify. Um, so you, you guys mentioned about the like the Christmas concerts and sermons being on YouTube. Are sermons on YouTube too? Mm-hmm. Like if I'm I'm particularly wanting to find the thing that Tim did in the Journey class, talking mm-hmm. about his history. Um, and we have Bible study that same time, so we couldn't attend. And is that a YouTube thing I could find then? Yep. Wow, so if okay. you go to, well, as, as Bill said, if you subscribe to our YouTube, every time I upload a video, which is multiple times a week, every day. Um, <laughs> not every day, I'm Sundays, sorry. I upload a bunch after Sunday afternoons, Okay. Tuesday after the Tuesday fellowship, and then usually Thursday after our presentation. So Westminster has a YouTube channel. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And you should subscribe to it because we only have 500 subscribers. Um, If you go, it's uh, youtube.com at Westminster Presbyterian Church. Okay. Um, But if you search, there's so many Westminster Presbyterian Mm -hmm. Church YouTubes. um, You have to search Westchester. Okay. Um, But if you come on our homepage, You'll see upcoming live streams for the next week. Okay. You can notify yourself. So you go, I don't want to miss this. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> these are past live streams. If you want to go back and watch any old stream. Wow. Okay. I like to see um, that the, the Wednesday morning is, oh, that's exciting for me. Cause I had tried to attend that, but traffic wise, at that time of the morning, it's impossible to get there. <laughs> yes. I'll take an hour, but I like that. <laughs> yes, we have moved it back in the chapel. Um, so you're no longer going to get, it, it's it's just an iPad on a stand. So you're not right. going to get the lyrics uh-huh. or the liturgy anymore like you did when we were pre-recording them. Um, mm. So I'll be curious if you guys would watch it and let me know if that you can download the bulletin if you go to 
the church website, but, and it, like a redesign will be easier to do, but I'd be curious for thoughts of your experience watching it in the chapel. Um, okay, I'll tell you. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, if you continue down, these are any up re most recent, like within the last week of videos I've uploaded. So you can see this is the Tuesday Fellowship one that Anne did this past week, which had oh, yeah. really interesting. I highly recommend it. Okay. Um, and then the journey class and then the sermon and, you know, all the way back to our tech time last week. But these are our journey classes. If there was a particular journey class that you missed that you wanted to go back to, like you wanted to do the queer virtue, but you never did, you could watch all wow. four videos. Okay. And then here's all the videos for of sermons like these are just the sermons if you want to go back and it should be in order of when they were preached keyword should uh, i have a question yes do you have my first sermon there from 1956 <laughs> <laughs> yes if you go all the way back to 1956 on youtube <laughs> yeah. i'm pretty sure yeah. that was with a clay and a stencil yeah. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clay tablet. You have somebody oh, oh, that's, with that's a right. stone tablet to, you know. <laughs> yes. yes. I've noted 119 time it. videos on there. <laughs> I wish they had an audio recording of that, Bob. That would be really cool. Yeah. Do, do we know how far back YouTube goes with this stuff? It was before I started working here. Um so it looks like uh, somebody joined for the church on YouTube September 28th, 2011. So mm -hmm. we have videos on here probably dating back uh, 11 years ago. Um, no idea. And it looks like uh, 70,000 views of our page, if that is what it says is accurate but um it i wouldn't say was highly used until you know the last five years so but yeah. well, it'll make it so much easier i just didn't even bother looking because you know trying to find a particular set class or sermon or whatever is helpful yeah thank you yeah. Yeah. and i i i use the youtube app on my t my smart tv and um, you can easily find church videos that way. So okay. yeah. if you're subscribed to it. So Lynn, how do you yes. get to, I'm on my, man, maybe it won't work on my phone because I'm, I'm trying, I'm on YouTube on my phone and I'm, I've been subscribed, but I don't know how to get to the home place. But you define home. Well, you said when you get when you go to youtube.com at Westminster or whatever, I yeah. guess I click on all and I get the latest. Um, but it then it does, only goes to a few of them. It doesn't keep going. Well, as so always, the phone's going to be it. different than. Okay. okay. If you do the search. And you do Westminster Presbyterian Church. Yeah, I did all that and I subscribed. And you came here. And I get and I get to that, yes. And then you scroll down and here's upcoming and then past. No, oh, and that doesn't keep going videos. that far. And of course it's got ads in between, but of course. I guess, I guess I could keep if I keep going, it'll get down to here's two years ago. Yeah, it's it's there. It's just weird because I'm getting okay. a lot of other stuff too. Yeah, and as usual, YouTube is full of ads these days. Unless you pay to well, not have. Yeah, you can <laughs> sign up to pay to get rid of the ads. Exactly. I'm tired. That's of, I mean, bad. We have How one thing we want to see on Apple TV, and one thing we want to see on whatever, and you know, you can subscribe and then cancel, and subscribe and then cancel. But it seems that. Oh, whatever so we just don't mm -hmm. see them <laughs> i refuse to spend hundreds of dollars every year for <laughs> one tv <laughs> 57 channels and nothing on as bruce springsteen said <laughs> well, I just we've got 500 I, I, channels yeah i'm all of a sudden 
I there was something on Disney Plus and I went to it. It turns out I've been subscribed to Disney Plus since December 8th of last year. I don't know what we, one thing we watched, but I paid a lot of money for it. <laughs> oh, so why did you sign up? They renewed my pres my subscription for $118. <laughs> I have to go in there and cancel it. <laughs> it's like, why did you get in the first place? I don't know. There was one thing, obviously. I was it no like Hamilton? It was a year ago. <laughs> Yeah, it may have been Alexander Hamilton because Bill, yeah. you know. Yeah, they're tricky how they they don't tell you they're, you know, you get your fight, your, you know, week free, and then all of a sudden it's you start getting yeah. the bills. You subscribe. You and you don't usually get a we will be charging you this in a week. They just charge yeah, no. it to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I read my I make yeah. myself write it down on the calendar before so I can get in there. I, mm -hmm. I found I can subscribe to a lots of stuff for what I've saved by dropping cable. Mm -hmm. True. Don't strictly streaming. Yep. You also, a lot of credit cards now will like list these are the reoccurring bills that you have that we think are subscriptions, and you mm -hmm. could eliminate them that way too. That's a good idea. I don't know if everybody's credit cards does that, but my, mine does. And we put different things on different cards, so yeah. that makes it harder. Yeah. <laughs> we all need personal assistance, you know, to manage all our 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 life here. <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. yeah. When Carol was uh, having the issues with with um, Facebook, yeah, I'm wondering: is there a way to troubleshoot weekly or daily to make sure you're I mean, you use the word hacked and then, you know, taking your identity, two different things. Is there a way to troubleshoot before it happens? Kind of like uh, with your internet, you've got your, uh, I've got web something, you know, the, the security system. <laughs> Well, yeah, you could, you could start out by changing passwords frequently. Okay. You know, that's that's a start. Okay. That I would say is the biggest thing you can do, making very long, secure passwords and changing them right. every so often. I mean, uh -huh. that's a lot of work with the, uh, the amount yeah. of websites you have to do it. Mm -hmm. But well, my Facebook is still under my old Comcast email, so maybe <laughs> that I haven't had for 10 years. So I guess maybe it's time. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you. But yeah. Pat, Thank you, Bill. Yeah. A lot of a lot of it is staying ahead and it's just very slow mm -hmm. yeah. and painful. So. Yeah, because security so often is a catch-up job. You know, and you're always trying to catch up with the bad guys who are out there being creative because they have nothing better to do. It's. I guess this is what we're going to learn on Monday, right? Oh <laughs> yes, if you go go talk to the police officer, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I can. You know, talk about that. Yeah would be interesting to hear his perspective but There's, do what you can you can't do everything but you can't imagine he knows more than you do lynn but i'm gonna give it a try <laughs> i'm sure he has seen more horror stories than all well, that that's yes. probably true and, and from the description of his bio it sounds like he does a lot more cyber attack type things mm -hmm. that are higher than i i see so like companies and mm -hmm. um, yeah. could be really interesting. Hmm. But. I have one quick question that I don't know if Stephen has to be there to answer, but on my <laughs> Android phone, when I, I, I actually right now I have a gallery that has my photos and I have Google photos because I want them on Google photos so they go back and forth to my computer. Um, however, I'm not secure enough to delete the gallery because they don't always go into the um, uh, Google Photos. But when I um, delete them, 
on my phone, I know they go away on my computer, but are they still in the cloud someplace or is it deleted out of the cloud too? When you delete from the gallery, does it delete the Google no, Photos sorry. ones? No, no, not, not the, ignore the gallery for right now. The in, in Google Photos, when I delete a Google Photo, is it still out in cyberspace someplace or is like, is it on the cloud or am I just deleting it from my devices? No, well, it depends on how you set up your device, but my gut instinct is that it's deleting it from the cloud as well as your device. Okay, well, that, I mean, that's fine. That's fine, but I just, um, I, I'm, because I delete, the things I delete, I really want to delete, like every day's <laughs> Wordle. I do not need to keep every day's Wordle for the rest of my life, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thing that doesn't I get deleted. Them in a, I save them in a file, Nancy. If oh. you've shared it with anyone, that's not going to get deleted. That's that's the rub. Oh yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Of course, I share them with my my son-in-law and my granddaughter. We right. every day we share each other's. Oh, well, I don't care. I mean, it's it's going to get deleted from my phone though, so it's not taking up space in my stuff, right? Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Um. Shared albums, though, if somebody deletes photos in them, it might delete them for everyone in that shared album. Mm -hmm. But if it's a direct like text message, it would go on your phone. And and Connie, I don't keep them on my phone, but I do write them down every day, only so that I can check back to see if that word was used before so that I know. Really? Oh, I yeah, I don't do that, but I just do a print screen and throw them into a file called games. That would be. And you're going to spend way too much walk. time on Wordle. I just play it as you win, you win, and if you don't, you don't. <laughs> the the internet keeps this a record of all of these words listed. If you Google, give me all the answers for all time. You can get that. Oh yeah, really? I did not don't know see that. how you got there to the word, which is kind of interesting. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's that's what's that's interesting, but. But it's also so that way you always win. You know, you you have all the answers, so you can win every day. No. I like that. <laughs> of all the of all the of all the wordles I've done since July or June when I started this, I've only maxed out to six once. Well, wow. I didn't get it in six. That's good. You're yeah. smarter than the average bear. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> My brain just works in weird ways. <laughs> so are you saying that once they use that word, they will never use that word again? Well, I don't know, but I'm guessing that's the case. There's certainly enough words in the world. <laughs> five letter words in the world, yes. Yeah, five letter words in the world. Probably be a long time since they repeat. Although today and yesterday they used a word that the last two letters were the same. And now if you haven't done it for today and you did it yesterday. I haven't I done it for today. Don't do that. Yeah, I've not got it done. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. You know what the first thing that popped up into my head was Zeus, Z-E-U-S-S -S -S, for Dr. Zeus. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's it's the bewitching all the hour. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for the whole Lynn, thing. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Lynn, I did send a chat question to you. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, but yes, thank you all. Uh, oh, others might want to hear the answer. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, who's Merry leaving. Christmas. But one tenth gift, huh? I don't know. I don't know what I want. The question was, what tech gift do you want Santa to bring you? Oh. And the second was, what tech gift do you want Santa to bring the church? <laughs> I know wow. one time I had a, a congregant asked a couple years ago, I was like, I would love two cameras in the sanctuary. And sure enough, we got them right before the pandemic closed. And I was like, wow, perfect. You're yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but so what's on the list for this year? I don't know what's on the list for this year. I don't have anything that jumps into mind. Okay, into time's up. You're not going to get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, it'd be great to do more hybrid options for some of the rooms, but there's not great places to do that kind of stuff, right? How about how about um, getting enough pledges in to do the budget? <laughs> that that would be ideal. That would be you know, so we have money in the budget for um, tech stuff because I'm sure that will be lowered, you know, 
yes. to pay for other <laughs> things like the buildings, heat and yeah. stuff, right? Rather than um, that or salaries or things like oh, that. Yeah. One other quick, were you running, were you using the, were you operating the cameras during the um, concert? I was. Excellent. Great yeah. job. I figured it was you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I figured it was you. Yes. Yeah. Um, we, can, we can tell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a good thing. I start, I, I did a recording of the six o'clock too, just for comparison's sake to see if I did oh, better. Which was better. And, um, and my camera work was terrible. Clearly I had been there for 12 hours that day, plus <laughs> all day Saturday. And you could tell I was like, <laughs> I thought the singing was better. Didn't you? Um, folks 